Welcome to the OVA vlog. This is part three of our three-part series on the pelvic floor. If you're curious about what the pelvic floor is or what a pelvic floor physical therapist does, go back and watch the first two episodes. This episode is all about what women can be doing at home to strengthen their pelvic floor. We're here at HCMC and we are joined by Beth Stagora, who is, uh, has a doctorate in physical therapy with cert um, a certification in pelvic floor and OB. So she is the perfect person to be talking to us about women's health in the pelvic floor. So Thanks Beth, for having me. Yeah. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> yes. Um, so what can women be doing at home to strengthen their pelvic floor? We often hear about Kegels, you gotta mm -hmm. do your Kegels. Yeah. What can we be doing? Right, so, there are a couple of different pro home programs that you can, that are kind of general. So again, it's important to go see a physical therapist to figure out what your problem is and to get an individualized um, home program. But if that isn't an option for you, there are kind of two different things to think about. If you have trouble with urge incontinence, so leakage where when you have to use the restroom, you need to use it now, those kind of pelvic floor squeezes, and we'll talk about how to do those, are going to be a little bit more prolonged holds. So you're gonna squeeze and lift the pelvic floor for five seconds and then relax down. So that's like endurance. More endurance okay. muscles, yeah. Um, that's like your, your runner yeah. you know, <laughs> kind of, um, of the pelvic floor. And then if you've got the stress incontinence where it's more of the laughing, coughing, sneezing that cause you to leak, those are your power muscles, so power lifting Strength. muscles. Yes, so it's about a quick up and in with the pelvic floor and all the way down and out. You should be able to completely relax it too. And so depending on what type of incontinence symptoms you're having, I would try one of those two programs. If you're having both of those symptoms, then you need to actually be working on both of those different muscle fiber types for it. Um, often women don't do kegels correctly yeah. and so during examinations we often find that women are squeezing with their glutes and their thighs and their eyebrows <laughs> and like everything possible um, and squeezing with their abdominals yeah. and so you really want to work on trying to isolate those muscles so at home, you could be seated on a towel and roll up a little towel roll and have it in between your seat, your sit bones, your butt bones. And you wanna think about the just the muscles touching the towel, squeezing together and lifting off the towel. Not anything happening in the hips. Not, the stomach shouldn't be lifting up and in. Nothing should actually move. And so you can feel the perineum, the outside of the vulva, lifting up and off of the towel. Yeah, so this would be lifting up yeah. towards the... So if you feel it going down and into the towel, that's the wrong direction. You're actually bearing down. It should be this close and lift of the muscles. Mm -hmm. And people often ask too, I feel it like all the way down to my anus. Should I feel it down there? Yes. You'll feel all of this close up and lift. So if you're feeling it from your pubic bone down to your, the bottom of your tailbone, that's the right place to be feeling it. You should also be feeling it between your two butt bones. Nothing on the outside, but you should almost feel like your butt bones are drawing together and then lifting up. So some of the other techniques that you can use if you're just having a hard time figuring out if those are the right muscles or you wanna check and see how long you can squeeze, um, you can get a handheld mirror and hold it down, lay down on your back, and try to see if you can squeeze and lift those muscles. And you should be able to see, you should be able to see the vaginal opening close. And so the you'll see the vulva, the, it'll all close. And then you should see the perineum, the perineal body will lift up in a way, so kind of up and toward your head. So you should see that movement happen, not the down and out. So you can try with the mirror and see if you can isolate that. Some women also find it helpful to insert a finger and try to just up to the first knuckle and see if you can squeeze and lift your own finger. It's just having the pressure of your finger there will help to tell you what muscles you're supposed to be using. That's awesome. awesome. Well, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. This, uh, the pelvic floor, it can really, if you're having issues with it, can really impact the quality of life. Mm -hmm. So it's important that 
women and men know that if you're having issues in that area, it doesn't have to be normal. It's common, but it does not have to be normal. Mm -hmm. So most people have symptom improvement with some pelvic floor work. So yeah, so Outlook is is good. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank Thank you, you, HCMC, for allowing us to do this series. It's going to hopefully help a lot of people. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.